Okay, these questions are just trying to get you kind of go the reverse of composing two functions. So remember that composition of functions written like f, little open circle, or f of g of x, this is really just saying you're going to plug one function, the g function, into the f function. Or if you leave it in this notation, you're going to plug that into the f function. So a lot of times what happens is they give you two functions like f of x equals x squared and g of x equals something like 3x minus 5. And so what you end up doing if you're asked to find f composed with g of x or f of g of x, all this means is you're going to take function g and substitute it in to function f wherever the inputs are. So here our function g is 3x minus 5. So it has to input into the x because that's what the inputs are for our function f. So then this would be 3x minus 5, put in place of this x, and then that whole entire quantity would be squared. And then you could simplify that. So we're kind of going backwards with this question on Alex, and it's saying, okay, we have this function, what could it be made up of? So it's almost like, what are the operations that are going on? So you could see that you're squaring stuff. You could see a couple other things as well, but if you only need two functions, you could say, okay, well, I think this would be one of the functions, and then squaring would be the other function. So if you look at the example that um, you have there, h of x is equal to 3x minus 8 to the 6th, I can see I have a 6th power function, and then I have a function, a linear function, that does that. So I would say, okay, I need to rewrite h as these two functions f and g. So it's really asking what's the inside function, that would be our g, which would be this guy, and then what's our outside function, which would be this guy. So I'm going to say that f of x will be a function that takes stuff to the sixth power, and g of x is going to be that 3x minus 8. And again, you can check this by actually saying, okay, if I plug this in place of that x, I have exactly h of x. So we could try one more of these. Let's say that you have um, something like h of x equals x squared minus 7. So again, here you have two functions going on. You have something that squares, and you also have something that minus a 7. So if you think about order of operations, what would have to happen first? Well, the squaring would happen first, and then you would minus 7. So if you're rewriting this function as f composed with g of x, the thing that happens first is this inside function. So our x squared would be our inside function. That would be g of x. And then f happens next, which would be minusing 7. So we're going to write g of x is the x squared guy. And then f of x is the function that takes an input and then minuses 7. And again, you can check that f composed with g of x here with these two functions that we made up. If you take g of x, which is x squared, it wants to plug that into function f. So if I take x squared and plug it into function f here, I'm going to end up with x squared minus 7. All right, hope that helps.